Let my people go. The Lord told Pharaoh to let his people go, and he didn't want to listen. He started trying to compete with Moses and his miracles with his little magicians. And at first, they could do what Moses was doing, but they couldn't keep up. Okay, and then that last one, that last play did it. You know, Pharaoh was like, okay, y'all need to leave. You better get out of my face right now, okay? So he lets the people go, and then he changes his mind again and starts chasing after the Israelites with his uh, soldiers on their horses. Right. So then the Israelites see the Egyptians coming after them and they start crying out to Moses. And then Moses starts crying out to the Lord. And the Lord is like, why are you crying out to me? Raise your staff over the sea and part the waters. Right. And David said, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Right. <laughs> so then the Egyptians see Moses part the waters and they're like, oh, no, the Lord is helping them. So they get scared and try to escape. But then the water closes in over them. OK. So the waters remember we talked about the waters closing in over us oh well now it's about to happen to them and the waters are the masses of people let me read this to you let me show you what the lord showed me okay so exodus chapter 14 verse 29 through 31 but the people of israel had walked through the middle of the sea on dry ground as the water stood up like a wall on both sides okay and the waters are the masses of people okay he divided the waters okay these people are being divided they're they're causing chaos within each other and we're not about to be in the middle of that mess God is going to have us walking on dry land and the waters are going to be on either side of us and they cannot touch us. Right. Okay. So that is how the Lord rescued Israel from the hand of the Egyptians that day. And the Israelites saw the bodies of the Egyptians wash up on the seashore. Okay. They tried to escape, but there's no escaping this. Okay, you reap what you sow. There's no escaping it. When the people of Israel saw the mighty power that the Lord had unleashed against the Egyptians, they were filled with awe before him. They put their faith in the Lord and his servant Moses. And Pharaoh is the devil. Okay, because Pharaoh was the ruler of Egypt. The devil is the ruler of this world. And the soldiers, that's the devil's minions, his demons. These demons that are attached to these people because they have gained access into their life by coming into agreement with demons, whether it's with watching porn, stealing, doing drugs, committing adultery, sex outside of marriage, you know, you name it, whatever they've come into agreement with, they have uh, allowed these demons to gain access into their life. So God is going to rescue you from the devil and his demons as well that are attached to these people. Okay, no escaping. We slaying demons out here. And these toxic people in our lives. Also, God divided the waters. They can't touch you, okay? They're going to be over there divided amongst each other. And they can't touch you. Because God had to remove a lot of people 
out of your life, okay? Not just one or two, a lot. When you're chosen, God, you know, they start dropping like flies, right? Because guess what? God had to keep you safe. And he doesn't want you to get affected with their karma. Because if you're anywhere near it, you're going to be affected with what's coming their way. So he had to get you onto dry land, okay? So if it was painful, you know, it's nothing compared to what's about to happen over there. So he had to remove you from that, okay? This is the year, the seven years of famine, okay? Remember? <laughs> oh, the Lord ain't playing, okay? When it comes to his children, let my people go. Okay, so yeah, it's their turn now. Pray for them. Pray for them because it's going to be real bad. Okay, it's not funny. It's going to be real bad. So, you know, pray for them. But, you know, it's going to hurt. But, you know, we, you know, we was hurting <laughs> when it was happening to us. But, you know, still pray for them. New beginnings, I'm telling you. Oh, and guess what? Today, I saw a license plate that said infinity on it, okay? And that just reminded me of the eight sideways. New beginnings. Song of the day. Song of the day. Praise the Lord. Song of the day. Eight in the description box below. Love you. Good night.